Welcome back to Tactical Accountants. Have the 200 yard range to myself today, so thought I would do some science for you guys, courtesy of that chronograph. Uh, these days can never have too much science and fact checking, seems like. So I am going to be testing these two fine Polish WBP AKs in 7.62x39 against one another in terms of velocity. They've both been on the channel. This is the mini jack with the fake light looking furniture, 10.5 inch barrel. And above it with the plum furniture is the Fox, standard AKM length 16 inch barrel. Don't mind the EOTech on there, looks pretty cool. Not sure if that'll be its permanent home, probably not, but just testing it out today. So we have the mini jack and the Fox and a chronograph, and we have a smorgasbord of cheap Russian steel, 7.62x39. Every flavor I've been able to find, so going up in weight, we have 122 grain FMJ, 123 grain FMJ, 124 grain FMJ, military classic, 124 grain 8M3 projectile, and finally 125 grain soft point. I am going to be putting five rounds of each type through both of these AKs through the chrono. Not sure if I'm going to show all the shots or um, a quicker cut and just show the data at the end, but let's see how much of a difference there is between a 10 and a half inch barrel and a 16 inch barrel because I've heard it said that in terms of 762 by 39, uh, 16 is actually overkill. So. Let's see how well that 10.5 does against it. All right, ended up swapping the optics. So this is the mini jack with the EOTech, starting with 122 grain Wolf FMJ. Same ammo, Wolf 122 grain with the WBP Fox. Had all the shot strings gone that smoothly, I would be showing you all the footage. Unfortunately, my chronograph, which I purchased from my fellow tactical accountant. Thanks, buddy. So long. <laughs> Does that thing work? Nah. Started off okay, like you saw there with the Wolf 122s, and then shortly thereafter, it started giving me some pretty funky readings. So I had isolated shots showing as high as 3,000 feet per second. I'm going fast again! Woo! and some reading as low as 200 feet per second. In order to maintain airspeed velocity, a swallow needs to beat its wings 43 times every second, right? Now, obviously those are faulty readings. So I ended up having to put a few extra rounds per rifle through them to make sure uh, I was giving you guys good data. Essentially, I disregarded everything above 2,500 feet per second and everything below 2,000 feet per second. And these are the results I ended up with. I'm going to splice this in directly so that you're not staring at a wobbly sheet of paper. Uh, but we have our five ammunition types down the side here. The results from the mini jack on the left, from the Fox on the right. I should clarify here, the mini jack does have a 10 inch barrel, not a 10.5 inch barrel. I believe I said that at the range. The Fox, of course, has a 16 inch barrel. So let's start with the Fox. This is to be expected, I think, if you even look up what velocity from 760 by 39 should be. All of the averages were between 2300 and 2400 feet per second. 
with the exception of the 8M3 that was a bit below 2300 feet per second. Uh, you can see I didn't get a fourth shot for the military classic out of the Fox. So that's a four round average. I should say also, um, if you're looking closely at these numbers and any of them seem like duplicates, I made sure that the chrono was showing that another shot was taken and it was a duplicate number. Not that it wasn't recognizing a shot and I was putting it down twice. Um, just so we have everything transparent here. With the mini jack, starting with the Wolf 122s, those were just below 2100. And then things got better from there. So the 123 grain and 124 grain uh, Wolf loads were closer to 2200 than 2100. And this surprised me, the Wolf 8M3 124 grain and the Wolf 125 grain soft points were over 2200 feet per second. So if you look at this difference here on the side, at worst, you are losing around 200 feet per second between the Fox and the Mini Jack with that six inch difference in barrel length. At best, you're looking at around 100 feet per second loss, possibly lower than that based on the 8M3. So this is pretty impressive. Um, short barreled rifles or pistols are all the rage these days, despite the ATF's best efforts. And when you're shortening a barrel that much to make a fur handier weapon, you want a caliber that can still deliver terminally and ballistically despite the shorter barrel. In my opinion, 762 by 39 is clearly such a caliber. If we look at muzzle energy instead of just velocity, which I have calculated here, for the full length Fox with a 16 inch barrel, we have energy at around 1500 foot pounds. For all the different types of ammo. If we look at the mini jack for the 125 soft points and for the 8M3s, your muzzle energy is still just under 1400 foot pounds. That's really not that big of a difference. Uh, and then looking down, it's still very respectable for all the types of wolf across the board, given that this is a 10 inch barrel. So just to put this into context, I have a few different loads here that I didn't test myself, but the information is readily available online. So we all know and love the AR with its 5.56 caliber, but because it's such a light bullet, it really needs barrel length and velocity to do its thing. So a 20 inch AR-15 shooting M193 55 grain, it's going super quick, 3260 feet per second, but the muzzle energy at 1300 foot pounds is actually pretty comparable to our mini jack here with its 10 inch barrel. If we shorten the AR's barrel, still shooting XM193, uh, like a Mark 18 out of a 10.5, the muzzle energy falls to under 900 foot pounds. Of course, there are more optimized loads for short barrel ARs, like 77 grain, where you're looking at around 1,000 foot pounds of muzzle energy, still considerably less than the AK. And just throwing it in here, a uh, pistol caliber carbine, shooting even plus P124 grain uh, 9 millimeter, according to Lucky Gunner, we'll be clocking around 1400 feet per second for muzzle energy of around 600 foot pounds. So it's clear that if you're going to have a short barrel, something like 762 by 39 is a very good choice. That's why 300 blackout was developed to be similar to it. And before anybody says so in the comments, I'm aware that muzzle energy and foot pounds is not everything. The AR is capable of devastating wounds uh, because of other things associated with velocity like yawing and tumbling and fragmentation. We're not going to get into all of that because I am entirely unqualified to do so. But muzzle energy as a constant is discussed for a reason. So to see that the 10 inch AK does so similarly to the 16 inch AK, which obviously is a devastating weapon is uh, kind of cool. It was cool to see that firsthand. So between the two of these, if I could only keep one based on these results, I would keep the mini jack over the Fox. One reason is the figures that I just discussed with you here today. The other one is something a little more subjective, but I've had uh, friends shoot both of these rifles rifle and pistol, I'm sorry, please don't shoot my dog. The mini jack recoil wise is, is factory. It has a flash hider and it has the factory gas piston. The Fox here, not only does it have a muzzle brake, 
on the tip for less recoil. It also now has a KNS adjustable gas piston that has been tuned so that it's not flinging cases 40 feet away into orbit. And despite these differences, the mini jack with its shorter barrel feels to me like it doesn't shoot any harder. It doesn't recoil any harder. It's in factory configuration. The mini jack certainly felt a little softer shooting, but even with um, these upgrades to the Fox, I feel like they're pretty comparable. I should also add that based on these results, uh, the loaded mag of 762 by 39 that I keep at home, if anything were to go bump in the night, is no longer full of the 124 grain 8 m 3s It is now full of this stuff, 125 grain soft points. You can see it there. Um, based on my very limited experience hunting and knowing how the hunting bullets look like from Hornady or Remington, this stuff I'm sure is pretty devastating against soft tissue and it showed the best results out of both the Mini Jack and the Fox. So that is what I'm going to be going with. So I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We will catch you next time. Plenty more content coming with these two. Take care.